Wow, that's so many, so many. But I will say as a trans woman, I will say like discrimination that we face is a huge problem based on our gender identity. Um, uh, we do see a high percentage of um, um, unemployment. Um, even if some of us are employed, we face a lot of challenges giving this opportunity. So that, I think that goes underreported in the mainstream media. And then if we add other components to our gender, right? If we play like the race card with the social economic class, it also, it's, I think that we are moving to a point where we have to bring up intersectionality instead of concentrating in just one specific um, issue that, that in my case I do bring like I believe gender and um, my um, race component, my class, those all play a factor in what opportunities I could have in society. So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a huge problem in our community that definitely um, for some reason doesn't really get the attention that it should be getting so people know how much injustices and discrimination we are facing, not just at home, but also when we try to make a living outside home and, and the struggles that we are facing. So I think um, the media needs to do a better job at reporting what's really happening and let us speak on that instead of uh, just having someone else speak for us, right? Like, um, oh, let's have a professor and try to speak what's happening to the trans community. No, we don't need a professor. We need our voices to be heard and then report on that. So I think by doing that, we can really start uh, making people aware of what's happening and hopefully something can be done about that.